this is Sparty the Spart here. I've had about three or four different messages, comments from three or four different people asking about how to do the skins or models for Unreal Tournament 1999 Game of the Year Edition. And I figured uh, it only take me a couple minutes to make a video showing how to correctly do that whole thing. So this is a uh, file planet you're looking at right now. It's kind of hard to see the text and stuff on it, but I'm going to go ahead and click on customization because that's where you need to go. Just make it all clear for you guys. If you're at File Planet Unreal Tournament, then click on customization. You should have models, scripts, uh, skins, and sound packs. But uh, usually, what I do here is they have the most downloaded things here. Sometimes I click something there, like, you know, Dragon Ball Z pack. And, uh, I either go to skins or models. Skins usually have more choices, so I usually go there. And then after you get a skin or a model, usually the best idea is to get a sound pack as well. And then, uh, add that in. So, I'm gonna go to skins here. And, my computer's pretty slow. And then usually when I go there, I sort it by downloads, so you can see basically the best stuff. And apparently almost all the stuff's adult that everybody actually downloads, but I'm going to go ahead and check the Comic Superstar Skin Pack. And... I'm going to show more details. That'll tell me like what's in it. Yeah, I already have this one, but I think I'm going to download this one and then show you guys how to do it. Alright. I'm going to skip ahead. <laughs> I'm back. It took me a while longer than I expected because those blasted evil maggots of File Planet made me download their patch before they even let me download any of the any of the stuff I wanted. So I got the Comic Superstar skin pack, and I also got a voice pack to go along with it because skin packs pretty much suck without voice packs. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the play button to unzip it. And I'm going to go ahead and put that in temporary folder. Oh crap. I actually already did this before, so I'm having slight difficulties. It didn't work the first time, so I'm going to have to redo it. There we go. And it's going to pop open. And there is a UTX folder here and an INT folder here. And there is a there's about four different types of extensions in all, and they all go in different places pretty much. A, a UTX folder goes into the texture folder, so the Unreal Tournament. So I'm going to go up here to Unreal Tournament. Go into the textures file. And it's, you might be able to see, I'm not sure because you can't see the text too well. These are all UTX folders in here, and that's why I know it goes there. And I'm going to paste it into here, which I'm actually overwriting my old one because I already had it. And then I'm going to go back to my temporary folder. And pull up the int folder. I'm going to cut that. Int folder goes into the system file the way I know this is because when you go into the system file you have all these int files you also have .u files so the .u files also go here for those interested then after pasting it I'm going to come back well actually after pasting it that's it for the comic superstar pack because I got both the int and the u I mean the int and the texture file then I'm going to undo this Put that in the temporary file as well. And 
and here we have txt file from the guy who made it. We have a U file which goes in the system, and a U file which goes into the system. So I'm just going to hold down Control and select both of them, make it easier. Cut. Go back up into the Unreal Tournament folder. Go down into system, and then paste it. Yes. Now I have sounds. Now generally, um, sounds often are .uax files instead of .u files, and those go into the sounds folder. I don't really know what the difference is between U or UAX. I'm not an Unreal Tournament Game Master or something. All I know is how to make it work. And I believe now I will continue this inside Unreal Tournament and show you how to activate it. So, I mean not activate it, but use it, so just so you guys understand. So I'm holding some noobs, right? And, and, and they turn around and they're like, what's going on? And pop up in your player setup. Get your character. You're going to want to go down to class. And click on male soldier. Because that is where these particular skins went. It's, you may or may not be able to see some of the other models will go to their own areas. Like Gogeta and Goku are all models, so they... They don't go into male soldier, but usually if you get a skin, it usually goes into the male soldier section. So I'm going to click on male soldier. And I now have Ben Grimm here, and I have Cyclops, and I have a whole bunch of other people that I just got. And I'm going to give them the voice I just got, the Cockney voice. And now they will own noobs. And that's it. You just change the voices here. This, this is as complicated as it gets. Uh, there's one more thing you can do. Hit start practice session. That's how you do normal games. This is the one last thing you can do with skins. Switch over to bots. Configure. and you can uh, click here you'll have all these different bots you can choose from and uh, you can set it up so that uh, some bots are the characters you want them to be for instance I could make this guy the mask if I wanted to and now every time bot 23 shows up he's going to be the mask and you can do all this other crap and this is where you change his voice and kablamo that's that's it, that's all you need, you just boom now when you go into practice session hit start, you'll come up with uh, seven random bots out of the order, if you wanted to have bot one through seven instead of just uh, any seven or however many number of bots you put in the match, you'd take off this click and then it would be only bots one through seven. So if you only had like seven special characters and you wanted only those people to be there, then you'd just make sure it did not say random order and then you'd configure it. And that's it. That's all there is. It's as complicated as it gets. Hope everyone, uh, can make it work and if you have any other problems just like leave me a comment or something and I'll try to figure out how to help you. Have a nice day!